Even in a multi-billion dollar organization, you see someone like Dana White, you know, fall in love with fighters that for the same reasons, right? The people that don't say no to fights and then they end up getting paid more than the other guys because when nobody else would rise to the occasion and you do, that's how you make the big bucks because it does build that trust and it was just crazy to see that and just almost hear it with your own ears and watch it i was like holy shit i remember i was like dude dana white loves kevin holland like that was wild like all these people in the room and he was worried about kevin holland who wasn't there and started bragging on how he always shows up for the fights and how he's accountable and he's got a big fight coming up I'm like kevin what fight do you have he's like i don't have a fight i'm like motherfucker you do now i was like dana just said so and it was on the board and it was a big fight right and now he just got offered another main event I Ironically, the other guy said no, go figure, right? But now he's got a huge fight in Salt Lake, uh, a city, and he's on a big uh, a big run, which could lead to a title, whether it's in BMF or not. And so if you talk about delayed gratification, you could see it, you go from making $10,000 a fight to hundreds of thousands a fight, right? And the sponsorships and what it does for you to set yourself up so you could do the same things in any and everything you do.